Okay, uh, it looks like it finished updating. It's going to be rebooting. See, this is a new uh, animation that's on it. Actually, at this time, I mean, it's it's going to completely work, so you're going to be able to use this. But if you want to actually root it, uh, let me actually, uh, we'll put it in the tripod. Let's wait for this thing to boot. Let me see if I can take it out with one hand. I'm not a fan of hitting the power button, so typically what I do is I just remove the battery cover. See how it's stuck on there? Uh, I guess they made the little boot animation a little too short, so... Well, right now it's just loading, but uh, normally it's going to lock like that when it's doing the boot animation. But that's just because they made it shorter than what was actually needed. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay, you go to menu, settings, go all the way down to about phone, uh, software information. Whoa! I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a. Uh, I'm trying to keep my hand steady. 1.36.605. For the software number. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take out the battery just because I'm kind of running out of time and I want to go through all this. Um, if you hold down volume, hold down the volume key again and then hit power. Okay, it's going to go through the little. I mean, if you still have that PB31 IMG uh, file on your zip folder itself, then it's going to go through all this jazz. On your phone, right click on my computer. You're going to go to properties and then you're going to go to device manager. C keep in mind this is Windows 7, Windows Vista is similar. Uh, Windows XP is a little bit different. There's a little tab um, that says, I think, hardware. If you go on that, there should be a button that says device manager, whatever. You just have to get in here. Okay. Once this thing boots, I should just remove that stupid file. Sorry, I don't really sound patient, but the, it's not that I'm not patient, it's just that I'm, I'm trying to make this under three videos. Okay, it's going to say, do you want to upgrade, hit no. Okay, now what's going to happen is once that thing on top, I don't know if you noticed that, but it said uh, H boot USB plug. Once that appears, you're going to see this little thing up here called Android phone. If it has a question mark on it, which most likely it will if you've never done any of this, you're going to have to right click on it, go to driver software install, go to browse. Um, my computer, you hit this little browse button, just select where that um, where that folder's at. So it's gonna be in my desktop, Droid leaked. Uh, I mean, Droid Incredible leaked OTA. And if you go to root one click, then click on the folder that says USB or uh, Android USB driver. And once you select that one, then just hit OK. Okay, and then just hit next, 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 and it's gonna install the driver. It's gonna say um, the driver hasn't been signed. That's that's fine. Just install it after that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually actually going to reboot this phone. Okay. What you want to do now is on the uh, inside the root in one click, double click on it, and then there's a reflash.exe. Click on that, and then this should appear. Okay. Currently, this is the method to root the phone. This is actually the fastest way. If you've been viewing my other videos of 10 minutes, this is actually, I'm going to be updating it to this one.
hopefully have hopefully have enough time to do all this, but clearly doesn't look good. <laughs> That's a new boot animation. Keep in mind, we don't know if this is actually going to be the the actual official uh, OTA that gives you 720p. What actually gives you 720p is actually the the radio itself. So it's not software. So if you're asking, it's like how come you can't just rip off the 720 and put it on the other uh, ROMs? You can't do that because you need the radio as well. Okay, if you go to menu uh, settings, you're going to have to go to applications. So go to applications, go to development, and then make sure that uh, USB debugging is checked. So once that's checked, hit OK, hit the little home button. And now what I'm going to do is uh, once you have that application opened, connect the cable to the phone. So it's gonna, that's going to appear, but if you look at the actual application itself, it's actually going to start rooting everything. If you've viewed my video on how to um, unlock NAND, uh, this is exactly what you have. It's, it's, it's similar. The, the other version, I think, was like 2.0 or something. This one's 3. 3.1, actually. But um, So it gives you the latest uh, custom recovery, which at this time was um, clockwork, I think 2.5. It's actually doing everything. Um, oh, if you still have that file on, uh, on your zip card, it's going to give you this little... Not error, but it's going to go through this whole process again. Seriously, like, I probably shouldn't have put that stupid file on the phone itself just because it's killing time, but that's fine. Either way, you wouldn't be able to update it because it's going to say it's incorrect version. So because you still have those two files, that uh, BP and 31 IMG zip on the SD card and the update.zip, as long as you have that BP on there, it's going to keep giving you this little message, or it's going to keep trying to load it. So once this thing says, do you want to update, I'm just going to hit no. And then uh, this software is actually going to continue where I left off, so I don't see it. Uh, yeah, so just hit no, so hit volume down. Okay, once it goes there, the program's going to continue. You can see the bottom down here. It says running the pre-boot sequence, waiting for reboot. Actually, I might be able to finish this after all. It's great. It should boot right now into the clock, the clock work, uh, custom recovery. Come on, come on. And of course, on this new version, you can install um, what's it called? Uh, a Wi-Fi tethering. So you don't have to use the one that comes with it. You can install that other Wi-Fi tethering that we use, that we used in the past. It says waiting five seconds because Windows sucks. I uh, don't know what that's about, but okay. There you go. Custom recovery. Just I'm gonna hit um, the power button up here just to reboot it. Uh, if you look at the actual application itself, it says done. So I'm just gonna close this out. Hopefully the phone reboots that way I can show you that it's been uh. That uh, super user and everything's been installed. I mean, you just saw right now that the custom recovery was installed, so it's a plus there. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to actually hit this button down here. Sorry about that. Hopefully, yeah, to actually execute a command like within the recovery itself, it's use the volume down and up to toggle vol down and up, and then you hit this little optical button to actually select an option. So once this reboots, I'm actually using the the cable that came with the Droid X. You can use any USB cable to do this. Um, unlike the other version, it's not real picky on the cable, on the SD card, on your computer, on the driver. Uh, I mean the drivers, yeah, but it's not too picky on the card. So if you were having issues with the card, that's how you do it now. It looks like I'm. This is going to be cutting it really, really short. <laughs> Come on, 15 seconds left. Well, okay, whatever. I guess I'm not going to be able to show you the super user part, but uh, that's it. That's how you get the new OT update and uh, get it rooted. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.